I've got a six-year-old son who has been obsessed with his little race cars since before he could even talk, zooming them around my house. And uh, I moved into this house about five years ago that has a bit of a snail problem in the front yard. So I started to think about this, uh, you know, this snail who has an obsession with speed basically based on all these things that are like right around me on a day-to-day on a -day basis. You know, I think it's a very universal theme. It's about never giving up on your dreams and, uh, and, and having a crew of people that ultimately you need to support you in life. So those kind of things, are they transcend, uh, you know, talking animals, they, they are human issues, and, and, and kids, adults, any, any age, I think, can, can really kind of dive into that kind of movie. He was great. He was just so game to, to do it. And, uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect when we first met. And, uh, and he came in to the recording studio and I had a big flip book full of images and I was pitching him the story and he's just staring at all the artwork, kind of getting more and more mesmerized by it all. And, uh, and then I asked him about this character's name and I'm like, you know, if you want it, if you have any ideas, you know, we can we can come up with some other names, you know, but this is this is what he's called right now, smooth move. He's like, no man, it's perfect. I love it. I think like any good underdog story, you leave feeling kind of pumped, you know, you've been on this ride sort of rooting for these characters and uh, and I think like, you know, like I feel after I watch Rocky, I just I kind of want to get out there and like, you know, work out or something, you know, it's just they, they leave you adrenalized.